Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales, has returned home to Windsor following a 13-day stay at the hospital. And she will not be returning to her royal duties and appearances until after Easter, they say. So the big question is, what events is she going to be missing and which events will she be back for? Princess Kate's abdominal surgery means that she will miss some huge royal events. Princess of Wales shows up at about 100 and something, let's say 150 events a year. That's her average, being that she's a mother of three children and a wife. Yes, Princess Anne does many more. So that averages out to about 10 a month, let's say 10 a month. So she's going to be missing about 30 events but which of the main events will she be missing that she normally goes to and which ones will she be able to make once she comes back in the spring? She typically does appear year after year at the BAFTAs. These are the film awards that happen in London. In Kate's Royal Diary, there's one major celebrity red carpet event that's featured every single year that she always attends and it is the BAFTA Film Awards ceremony that's held in London. So she does appear with her husband, Prince William, who happens to be the British Academy of Film and Television Arts president. The show provides a rare opportunity for Kate to be photographed alongside A-list stars, including the evening's winners. And she's become a favorite at the event she always wears the most beautiful and stunning gowns. While it's very elegant and stylish, it's also an opportunity for us to see Kate and William sometimes in compromising positions and very affectionate, which the royals typically do not show public displays of affection. Then there is St. David's Day. In 2023, she attended her first St. David's Day parade of the Welsh Guards Regiment of the British Army as the Princess of Wales and wife of the regiment's colonel, she is normally expected to appear at the annual event. So Prince William is the colonel of the Welsh Guards Regiment of the British Army, and she usually appears alongside of him. The military parade marks Wales' national day. William was made colonel of the regiment by his father after he gave his son the Prince of Wales title. Prior to this, obviously Prince Charles, and Camilla had those titles. Now it is Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, and her husband. During the event, members of the battalion on parade receive leaks, which are ceremonial pinned to their uniforms. In 2023, Kate debuted a new diamond leak brooch, which had belonged to Princess Diana to mark the event. And then of course, there's Commonwealth Day. Commonwealth Day is an important international day of celebration that marks the coming together of the 56 countries that make up the entire organization. In London, the day is marked with a church service at Westminster Abbey attended by the monarch previously Queen Elizabeth, but now Charles, who is in charge of the Commonwealth. Along with the King, other senior members of the royal family attend this event, and Kate has done so over a number of years, and it has become an engagement highly anticipated by royal fashion watchers who want to see what Princess Kate will be wearing at the event this year they won't be able to see. She will also be missing St. Patrick's Day. In 2022, Charles made Kate the new Colonel of the Irish Guards Regiment of the British Army after he moved their previous Colonel William over to the Welsh Guards. In 2023, she made her annual appearance at the St. Patrick's Day Parade to pin shamrocks on the soldiers' tunics. So in honor of the occasion, Kate has usually worn a green outfit or one that in some way ties in with the uniform of the regiment. Okay, so Royal Easter Sunday. Will she or will she not appear on that date? We are hoping that will be the day that she appears. It's not known exactly when Princess Catherine will be returning to making public appearances. Kensington Palace said in a January 17th statement announcing her planned abdominal surgery, that based on the current medical advice, she is unlikely to return to public duties until after Easter. So this would mean that the princess will miss Easter Church Sunday service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, which is regularly attended by senior members of the royal family. The event traditionally marks the first event of the year when the public sees the Wales children, Prince George 10, Princess Charlotte 8, and Prince Louis 5. But, it is possible that she could make a surprise 
appearance early. They say that her recovery is going quite well. So what will we see her at? Since we know we won't be seeing the Princess of Wales at several events, including the BAFTAs, the St. Patrick's Day Parade, and many other events like Commonwealth Day, when will we see her? I think June will be the big month for the royal family's calendar for us to see the Prince and Princess of Wales again. In June, there's a huge wedding for the family. Hugh Grosvenor, the Duke of Westminster, is going to be tying the knot in this big wedding on June 7th at Chester Cathedral. It's possible that Kate and William planned this whole surgery to coincide with a time when it, there were fewer interruptions in their schedule. This wedding excluded Meghan and Harry from the wedding, even though Hugh was very good friends with them and Will and Kate, he decided to extend the invitation to the Prince and Princess of Wales to the exclusion of the Sussex family. So he is one of Prince George's godfathers, close friends with Prince and Princess of Wales and his own godfather is the king and it's thought that many of them will attend the wedding with King Charles, Queen Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales all reportedly on the guest list. At the king's birthday parade, even though his birthday is not technically in June, each year the trooping of the color marks the official birthday of the British sovereign in 2024. The event will take place June 15 on Horses Parade featuring a traditional ceremony with over 1,400 soldiers, 200 horses, and 400 musicians. Visitors can watch the event from the Mall at St. James or enter the ballot for seated tickets. Royal Ascot event is Tuesday, June 18th to the 22nd. This is an event that we all get very excited to see the royal family at, especially Princess Catherine, who always shows up with the most gorgeous clothing. So the Royal Ascot is the event of the year. It's reserved for the best, the best in racing, the best in hospitality, and the best in style. This is racing at its most exquisite, nothing more, nothing less. So it's Tuesday, June 18th to the 22nd. There is a dress code with women wearing dresses and hats. For some years, it's like the most exotic the more extravagant, the better. So will we be seeing them at Royal Ascot? It looks like we will, provided that everybody stays very, very healthy as they have been prior to this year. So one of the things that we're really missing with Kate being in the hospital or being AWOL from the press is that we're not able to see all the beautiful, stylish clothing that she wears. For example, in 2023, she really had some incredible outfits with a Catherine Walker dress in November of 2023. All of her Jenny Packham dresses, which are absolutely gorgeous. One that she wore also in November of 2023. She had a beautiful blue gown with these incredible sleeves. And then it's just her colorful suits like Emily Wickstead, that's just beautiful purple suit, and another Katherine Walker blue dress suit that she wore. And of course, in July of 2023, the self-portrait green that she wore. And then of course, in Alexandra Rich in June of last year for the Royal Ascot with the black hat that she had just off the side of her head, her pink Beulah dress last June. This is what we should be ex expecting. And then Oftentimes in May, they'll have some state dinners. Maybe we'll see her again at a state dinner. So her style is just iconic, beautiful, slick. This is what we're missing with Catherine being in the hospital, but all we want is for her to be better. Royal watchers are gonna have to just close their eyes and sleep a little bit until Princess Kate makes her way on the runway, showing us all how we should be styling our clothes for the next season. Please subscribe to Hot for History where you will get royal news and history that I bet your history teachers would never dare to teach you.